Hey guys, it's Eric. Today I want to talk to you about something that's been on the mind of a lot of Austinites, and that is pouch order. Now before I start giving some information on uh, how to control odor, I just want to make it clear that pouch odor should only be noticed when you're emptying your pouch or when you're changing your appliance. If you notice it when you're not doing any of those things, chances are you have a leak or there's something else going on with your appliance. Now one of the easiest things that you can do to control pouch odor, and in my opinion is one of the best things, is to use a pouch deodorant. Now these products are generally in a liquid form and you just basically squirt a bit of it inside your pouch every time you go to empty it. Now some of them do uh, kill odor causing bacteria and other ones kind of mask the odor so they'll have some uh, scents to them and they'll have a fragrance that should technically mask the odor. I would suggest you try a bunch of different samples and see which one works best for you. I've noticed that a lot of them work pretty well and they'll pretty much cover any of the odors that uh, I'd normally find coming out of my ostomy pouch. But some of them you actually have to use quite a bit of product in there and it's not really desirable, it's not very cost effective to do that. There is another option if you don't want to be putting anything inside your pouch and that is to use either a room deodorizer or one that goes into your toilet. I actually don't like the room deodorizers for a couple of different reasons. First of all, they kind of irritate me. They get all up in my nose, they make my eyes uh, watery and itchy, and I don't think that you know the smell of poop and floral fragrance is a very desirable thing. So I like to uh, tackle that problem in a different way. Now I know some people like to use uh, in-toilet deodorants and what they basically are is uh, you basically squirt them inside your toilet water and they create a bit of a film. It's usually a bit of an oily film and that film helps to trap the odor inside the toilet and it also gives off a little bit of a fragrance. Now a couple of these products are uh, something called Poopery which you're probably familiar with their commercials. Uh, another one is Just a Drop and um, I'm sure there are a couple of different other ones depending on where you live, but those are generally pretty easy to dispense. Now, keep in mind that they won't tackle problems with the actual odor coming out of your pouch, so they're not going to be as effective as um, a pouch deodorant that you would put inside. Now, another really common way to tackle odor is to just keep an eye on the foods that you're eating. I generally hear um, about different foods causing different odors for certain people, but it's really best that you keep a food diary and see what's triggering odor for you specifically. Now I find that some of the foods that are on these lists are foods that are actually pretty healthy for you. So for example, beans and onions. Those are foods that I generally try to include in my diet because they are pretty good for you, and I wouldn't really be going around eliminating healthy foods from your diet. Another thing I do want to point out is the fact that I do eat an entirely plant-based diet I think also gives me a bit of an edge. I know a lot of the uh, sulfur producing compounds that are found in animal products, primarily meat uh, and eggs, uh, tend to create quite a bit more odor inside of your pouch and in your stool and uh, if that's something that you can avoid and I do recommend that you do, you'll probably be doing yourself a huge favor in eliminating most of that odor uh, from even starting. So I hope those tips help. I know there's a couple more that people generally try to use, but those are the main ones that I think uh, are the most important. If you've got any tips that you'd like to share on how you control your pouch order, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and share this if you think that someone else might be able to benefit from it. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.